We begin today with a look at the early days of this new Congress. Rules, committees, investigations all being decided now. What's it mean for Jersey and for the country as a whole? Right in the middle of it, it seems, is Congressman Josh Gottheimer, co-chair of the Problem Solvers Caucus, who joins us now. Congressman, good to see you again. Welcome. Hey, David. Thanks for having me. Appreciate it. So let's start with this debt ceiling, uh, which this week is come up now. Uh, we've reached it. What is it? What does it mean to people? So it's basically to think about it as the uh, country's credit card and whether or not we're going to pay our bills for expenses we've already had. Um, and once you hit the debt ceiling, uh, it's it's like you've maxed out on your card right. and there's and you, you can't uh, you need to extend the credit, expand it in order to be able to to, to borrow anymore as a country. Um, we're nearing hitting that limit uh, there. I say that because the Treasury Department can use extraordinary measures to help pay for things uh, while we try to work this out in Congress. Yeah. And the issue is, as you know, you know, if we don't address it, literally, the United States will default on what it's borrowed. In other words, we won't pay our bills. And that is not a good thing. It affects the full faith and credit of the United States and, of course, will affect the markets, affects our standing in the world. So it's a problem that we have to solve. And uh, I'm already hard at work on on trying to bring folks together to do that. When all this stuff was going on with the speakership, we were talking, you and I, a couple of weeks ago about these potential rules changes that are coming into the Congress. We, we've yeah. seen some of it. Tell me what rule changes have been the most major uh, to affect what's going to be happening in Congress this term? Well, to, as you as you rightly point out, there were some changes to the rules of the House. One of them, uh, which, you know, the Freedom Caucus, the extreme right, what what you know, what the change they wanted was for literally one member of Congress at any moment to call the question of the speaker. In other words, say we should have a vote right now once again on who the Speaker of the House should be. And and you saw vote after vote that we witnessed in the beginning of Congress. They have the right in the rules that they got to be able to do that at any time uh, during during the year. So what it means is, you know, uh, and what they're threatening is if, if we if we try to move forward and get an agreement to raise the debt ceiling so the United States can pay its bills, that they will uh, try to throw Kevin McCarthy out. That's what they've said. Um, and they will use that rule to try to do so. Um, that's why we all have to work together. I mean, the, the answer to come up with an agreement um, uh, because that can't be the answer. And we're going to have to bring everyone to the table to try to get an agreement. And then one of the first things that the Congress announced uh, were these investigations now uh, into China, into the weaponization of the government, into the Biden family. Is this what the next two years is going to look like? Well, I think less the appointments that the Republicans made to the Oversight Committee of, of some of these uh, Freedom Caucus extremists, um, you know, it means that there's going to be plenty of investigations, and that's what they plan to make a lot of noise about over these next couple of years. I mean, there are a lot of issues, though, like the debt ceiling that we're going to have to figure out ways to work together on. Folks should know kind of how this new Congress is set up. The House is in Republican control. The Senate is in Democratic control and, of course, the presidency. So a lot of this stuff that we're going to see coming out of the Republican House is going to be countered by the Senate. So really, it, it behooves Republicans in terms of just kind of a political strategy to take the next two years to beat up on on Democrats and, and the incumbent looking forward to the presidential election. I mean, is that I, oversimplifying I, I, things? No, I think there's some who believe that's, I'm sure, the strategy that they should employ. You know, I think people want common sense and people are going to get stuff done for them, not just obstructionism and screaming and yelling. Yeah. Um, and so I think they're going to have to show that they can govern. And, you know, and frankly, that's what all of us, well, that's what I want. I want people to, who are actually going to get stuff done for us and make progress, whether it's for veterans, for supporting cops and firefighters or obviously dealing with this debt issue. You know, you can scream and yell all you want. Maybe it's good for social media and cable TV. But at the end of the day, it's not going to make people's lives better. It's not going to make life more affordable for families. It's not going to get taxes down for them. And I think that's what people wake up worrying about. And so it's 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 a strategy from the extremists. Now, I think the Republicans are obviously grappling with that. And, you know, they had to cut some deals to move forward a couple of weeks ago. But that's not how they're going to govern for the country and get things done in a common sense way. So you're going to need people like me who are willing to work and sit down at the table and figure out reasonable, common sense ways to move forward 
Um, uh, you know, and that, I think that's actually what people want, but also the only way we're going to be able to deal with challenges like debt ceiling that you mentioned a few minutes ago. Having discussed all of these things, where do you see an end for your problem solvers caucus to to try and bring people together? Is there any evidence that there is an end right now? I mean, we have to solve, like if you look at the debt ceiling, we have to solve that problem. We have no other choice. The economy depends upon it. People's savings depend upon it. Our standing on the world depends upon it. So we have no choice except to solve it. So that means we just have to sit together and keep sitting together as we're already doing to, to work through it. Um, you remember, there's always a lot of loud voices and extremists that get lots of uh, attention. And I get that because, uh, uh, you know, people tend to like to watch the fight, you know, and the car crash. Right. But at the end of the day, a bunch of us sit down every single week and the Problem Solvers Caucus, you know, we have more people now interested than ever before. You know, we were at 58 last Congress. You know, we're reconstituting now. We'll be over that number uh, this Congress. Um, you know, our job is to sit down every week uh, and, and just work together and figure out where we can agree and get 80 percent of what we want and move forward versus zero percent and taking the country down, the economy down. So we're I'm not going to stop working at it until we get there uh, and we because we have to. All right. It's just begun, folks. Congressman Josh Gottheimer. We're just, we're Good just, to see uh, you, man. First inning, man. First inning. All right. We'll talk to you again soon. Good to see you. Take care.